you can't daily drive a Lamborghini, at least the older ones, it just doesn't work. Between being keyed or costing 50 bucks in gas just to make it round trip from Abel's, it's just not gonna work. And even more so, it's just very expensive. So, we're going to look at and potentially pick up my new daily driver. Well, that's not exactly something you see every day, or that might be something you see every day out here, I'm not exactly sure. One of the funniest things about it is that it is equally as rare as a Mazda RX-7, the third gen. The same number of these cars were imported as the third gens, the 93s through 95s. There's about 14,000 of them brought to the United States. So, at least in my mind, it's a pretty cool, rare car. The awesome part is, we're gonna get it for maybe $1,000. So I can tell Erica's extremely excited. She loves my choice in taste in cars. I don't think it could get any better than this. <laughs> so I'm curious to see her reaction the moment she sees it in person. So the house address is 1861. right there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Seems to fire right up. Yeah. I was about to say, if you got a good battery, I'll fire it up. I think it's the battery. Yeah. It's not giving the problem because it's not holding to all that charge. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Um, seems fine, honestly. Yeah, she's pretty solid. Yeah. I'll, I'll be, I'll be very uh, honest. I'm getting that impression too. Yeah. Absolutely no power, but yeah, put a little tune in it. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, the, even the electric system is only 13 uh, horsepower, <laughs> so it really doesn't 13? have much. 13? 13. I would just make a U turn here. Yeah, I got a car right on my ass. So I'll, I'll yeah. turn around over here. This is actually a good test. Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, wow, wow. Turning radius? Look at that turning radius. <laughs> right off the bat, I'm uh, in a bit of a pickle. I just got the car. We're over at AutoZone to get it all figured out, but check this out. This one controls that just perfectly fine. But this one, oh, well, of course it works on video. There's my beast. So this is our maiden voyage and this is one hell of a little baby car. We're out at uh, a parking lot near where I just picked the car up and it's a uh, AutoZone so I can get a new battery because I'm a little bit of afraid of once the, the 12 volt battery stops working this car is not going to start again. So jumper cables, battery, this sounds like owning an RX-7 except it has no sound. It's a very quiet vehicle and uh, of course the killer gas mile. Yeah. But, I can't test out hybrid well, it's, this, this is the normal battery. Yeah. So. Okay, the little stand is yeah. And it goes where? Well. Goes up in the. Into this? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, good. 
Thank you very much. No problem. Alright, so we've got 51 DL with uh, 530 cranking amps, it looks like. Or the DL Gold with 625. I'm not gonna lie, this is one of the coolest driving experiences I've ever had. I uh, <laughs> genuinely enjoy the, this sort of gas mileage, and of course I don't need the performance when all my other cars have high performance. So consider me impressed. Uh, of course, having a manual is even more fun and uh, enjoyable. So, so far no major problems. Uh, the electrical system did choose not to charge at first, but uh, it's charging now, that 13 horsepower makes a big difference. So one of the most important things I will stress to you younger guys watching this video is, I'm the type of guy that knows one rule. If you're gonna do something illegal, don't do something illegal while you're doing something illegal. You only stick to one less than ideal situation. Don't, don't get greedy and do two. So in this case, I am driving the vehicle back to Erica's place. And what's important about that is, I don't have the registration. So I have proof that I've bought the car, but I don't have it registered. I'm willing to take that chance as long as I have the car insured. And this is something that's very important to me to tell all of you is that I always insure my cars. And that's not me just trying to sound good on camera. If, so, if I get creamed on the way back to Erica's, or if I cream somebody, if I hurt somebody, I'm not insured. So that's one of the very first things that you do when you buy a car, insure it. You know what, I don't care if you get pulled over for no pla plates or anything like that, but please insure your vehicle. You might be able to hear the Challenger making noise, but let's hear this thing rumble. And it's a, <laughs> that was that was a joke. Okay, we've got cup holders, air conditioning, hybrid. We are in excellent shape, except for gas. We need gas. This is a pleasant moment. Probably one of the few. I'm gonna have to do this. Oh shit! Must be a button somewhere in here to pop the fuel. Somewhere in here. Uh, there we go. To do it, there we go. This year. Okay. Again. Okay. One of the nicest parts about this car. Regular. The tank's basically empty, so we're gonna see how much, uh, how much it actually ends up using. She's not feeling it. She's not feeling this boogie music. Gotta love motorcycles. Wow. There you have it. Nine gallon. It's basically a ten gallon tank, and uh, that's the last time I'm gonna have to fill up ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This car loves its downhill. Look at that, 50 miles to the gallon, a 37 mile run so far. That's pretty damn impressive. So that is the end of my very first drive. That is very impressive that even with the motor assist out of operation, that I still got 53 miles to the gallon for 46 miles of driving. Absolutely no power whatsoever and that's drafting behind other cars. The shitty part about this car is both this and this, keep me honest, I want to try and drive the speed limit. I want to do the best possible gas mileage because of these damn numbers right in my face. I'm a competitive person and those taunt me on trying to make me as good as possible of a hybrid driver. I hate you Honda for doing that. There she is. Okay. This is impressive. Look at that. They did a wonderful job.
Thank you guys. Thank you very much. All right, so there you have it. That is day one of owning a used shitty little hybrid, and it has been a more positive experience than I expected. But those are some of the basic things that occur, and this is how you handle it. So next couple steps with this car is, of course, I'm daily driving it, so I'm not really gonna modify it much, but I am going to have a fun time getting it registered, as well as, well, cleared, cleaned up, uh, clay barred, and polished. Red, red paint tends to be one coat, so we'll see if I can polish that up to something a little bit prettier.